Guys, good to see you. Good to see you. You have a great line in the show where you say you need three things to do this job. Gun, badge, and what's in your heart. Yep. To do this job, to do your job, to be an actor, what are the three things you need? Oh, do you want to go first? Do you want me to? Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, I think uh, perseverance, uh, thick skin, and, uh, and to be... Uh, kind of fearless as yeah. far as what, you know, is, that's what kind of acting has always been to me, is just to just to let it go. And, and, and like Tom Hanks said the other night, just to go, you have to go there. Yeah. And whatever the material is in the, in, the, in the framework of what you're building and shooting shot by shot. So that's the kind of, uh, for me, those are the three things. Is the thick skin thing, is that, is oh, that tough? Oh, yeah. You can't take anything, per I mean, I try not to take anything personally. And definitely perseverance. But for me, for like actual acting, mm -hmm. like on set, I need to meditate that morning to like relax myself. I think like being relaxed is super important. Um, uh, perseverance and um, music. Really? I use music a lot what to get me into the zone. What do you use before <laughs> it's so crazy because there's times when I'm listening to reggaeton to like get me like you know like pumped and yes. like like open and whatever. I'm married to a Latina. Yes. <laughs> There's some spice and, like, in it's that like, house. And it's like yeah. to you know just to like keep the energy up, yeah. especially with like long days, you know. So gente de zona, shout out yeah. Miami. Um, and um, and then if it's like more of an emotional scene, um, I listen to Bob Dylan a lot. Very cool. Robert Flack, nice. It got a stuff. wide range, so you can tell what she's listened to by how she's. Well, I don't try to like be in his. I don't like try to like be in his in his stuff. Like I I'll just, be like in a little corner. It. We just yeah. kind of do the scene. That would be kind of annoying. Gets, whatever gets you. There. I mean, I love music too. I think yeah. music's a big part of, uh, of 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 everything. Yeah. Just because music is a, you know, like a great song is like a great performance. Yeah. It should take you on different levels and different kind of you know um, arcs, and then you know should kind of come to an end at some point. You know, yeah. like the episode or like the film and. Um, so music's a big part of, of my preparation, too, yeah. you know. You know, one of the benefits of, of doing a series is you get to learn about a character over the course of multiple hours and multiple seasons, multiple years. You've been in a lot of great films where you only got to play that character for two hours. What's a cinematic character you've played that you wish that maybe you could have learned more over the co yeah. course of multiple episodes or multiple seasons? That's a cool question. Like in a film. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was what made me excited about doing TV, you know, is not only has it become so trendy, but at the same time it's... Uh, you can play a character longer than just mm -hmm. 90 minutes or two hours, you know what I mean? But I'm trying to think, movie-wise, what character would be fun as to, to have gone the distance with longer? Uh, well, I die in a lot of my movies. So. <laughs> we might have to go uh, retro that'd be, short, yeah. that'd be a short season. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, um, but, you know, uh, I'm trying to think. I don't know, I'll pass that one off to Yara and I'll think Ooh. about it. Uh, uh, I don't because I've actually done more television. I want to do more. Yeah, film. she's more of the pro um, in this game. So, so I feel like I've gotten to my favorite characters. I feel like I've gotten to explore. You got, you got to explore. Yeah, All right. yeah. I mean, maybe I would have changed a few things, but I'm not a freaking writer, so. Maybe my character. <laughs> I, I really wanted Johnny Marco to keep going in Sofia Coppola's yeah. movie somewhere. Yeah, that was a I wanted sweet, to see great, where. Such I wanted, a great movie, by the way. Thank you. I wanted to see where he would go. So yeah. that would be kind of cool to and do also, like a limited series yeah, with him. Yeah, for sure. Or that relationship, like the father daughter. relationship. Yeah, like yeah. see where that's gonna go. You know, but um. You know. Whenever I drive by the hotel, I always think of, of that, that show. It's such a great movie. Thanks, uh, Both of you guys have experience with True Detective. And I'm curious yeah. as to what that experience with that show was compared to something like Deputy. Because they're obviously not the same, but different. But similarities, there's some threads, but obviously, you know, apples and oranges. I mean, for me, True Detective, I just felt like the second I got on set, I was like, I'm on True Detective. Because all of my scenes were in a really dark, mm -hmm. lit bar. And um, T-Bone Burnett was always on set. And the music would be playing, yeah. which was really cool because I had never done that where they actually play music throughout the scene. And sometimes Cause they she's would... singing in that. Season. Yeah, because yeah. she's yeah. singing. And yeah. there was even one take that they had um, Colin and Vince just not talk, and they just played the music, and they just shot both of them at the same time, and they were just reacting, and then they switched A and B cam and like covered from another angle, like as the music was playing, and I was just like, oh, I'm on True Detective. Oh. This is what it's like. <laughs> you know, they could do that. Yeah, it was really beautiful. It was really, it was really, really beautiful. I, I mean, to answer your, to answer, you know, I think the difference really is just cable um, gives you a lot more freedom because you don't have the whole advertising mm -hmm. element, but network reaches a lot more people. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, um, my first question on this show coming into it was, why wasn't this? you know, sold like um, for, you know, FX yeah. or somebody else so we could really yeah. push the envelope. And they really wanted to make a, a show for Middle America and for broadcast, and uh, Fox wanted to uh, let us do that. So I guess, you know, um, 
I've been having. It, doesn't, I, like it's I, it hasn't really limited way. us. I mean, it, has, it only limits you, like with curse words yeah. and you know, love scenes. You really want to curse. Yeah. Steven really wants to, Steven really wants to, wants to take off his yeah. shirt and show, <laughs> no, his, and show some, off his six pack. There's sometimes <laughs> what they want. There's sometimes when Bill <laughs> should just be able to say, <laughs> but he can't, you know, because we got not Ford and kids and watching. Yeah, but the truth is, yeah, not to Paula. But the the truth is, you know, it hasn't really limited me. I have a cheat sheet and I have a thing in front of my script every week uh, that says what I can't say <laughs> and what I can yeah. say. And I, so I just build those words into whatever yes. the framework is. Ooh, what, are, what are the can't that? say words? I can't say like, uh, uh, you know, uh, I can say son of a bitch, but I can't say, um, you know, the F word. I can't say shit. Right. I can't say, uh, I can say jackass, but I can't say ass. I can't say oh, anything I religious. I can't say Jesus or God damn it. Or oh my God. I can't really yeah, say that. Oh my gosh. No. Oh, gosh. I can say I can say um, scumbag, yeah. <laughs> which I've used a few times. Where are you going, scumbag? <laughs> you know, um, I can say uh, I, I tend to I tend to use son of a bitch a lot because it, it, you know my character's a bit of a kind of a cowboy, a yeah. California rancher. Yeah. So son of a bitch kind of goes with his slang. Right. But you know, but you know it's been you know it limits you in that way. But at the same time, you know, it's my first time kind of doing this type of a thing in in a long form kind of. We're on episode 10 now, yep. and we got a few more to go, and then uh, see where we go. But I know they told us we did pretty good. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, saw yeah. I just we, heard the, yeah. the plus other three. number. Yeah. yeah. The plus seven, I, yeah. I, it's going to double, I think, Yeah. or I'm going to it's good. Jump we, off we've the done some of these hotel. interviews before where, where we do it and it's like, oh, it's not going well so far. With well, you guys, it's going, it's going great. Yeah, yeah it's good. <laughs> and one quick last nerdy question because we got some other people lined up. Yeah. Um, uh, your your great co-star from True Detective, Mahershala Ali, mm. um, is about to be Blade. You have a bit of history yeah. with with Blade. I'm curious as to when you when did you find out the news? Did you guys was he thinking about it on the set? Of he didn't really know. He didn't really tell me. He never told me. And I think that just happened mm -hmm. for him. And I think uh, um, I, I heard about it in like an interview. I think. Mm -hmm. And then I realized he was doing it. And then I saw him, and he told me about it. And I'm I'm excited for you him. You think I he's going to be a great? Oh yeah, I think he'll. I mean, he's such a great actor, and I think he'll reinvent uh, that franchise, which is uh, awesome. Yeah. You know, that was kind of a. My first big commercial movie uh, when I was like 20, 23 or something. And, uh, um, you know, I keep hearing about it. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I guess. I did a VHS, man. I, I, yeah. I loved it. If you're a 90s guy, yeah. um, you know, and you're our generation, we, you know, that was a pretty good one. Yeah. I, I thought it was going to kill my career when I did it, but um, because I felt like I, I, I felt it was the first commercial type film I had, I had agreed to do. And I'd been doing all these dark movies yeah. that weren't making any money, but I was getting to work with all these great actors yeah. where I kind of learned what I do now from them. Yeah. So I kind of, um, you know, I kind of was going, but it was, it worked out. It yeah. didn't kill my career. Hey, so that's good. Hey, we're here. We're here. <laughs> Guys, I love the show so much. Seriously, thank you Thanks, for being man. such great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.